Thanks. Well, tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from Pirates pitcher Jamison Tyone about his cancer diagnosis and subsequent surgery. Tyone was diagnosed with testicular cancer a few weeks ago. Paul Martino is live at PNC Park with more on his message to other men. Paul. Christine, we don't know when uh, Jamison Tyone will be taking the mound again. We have learned he is well on the way to recovery, and he has become forthright in speaking out about a disease that, frankly, most guys don't want to talk about. Tyone wants to change that. In his short major league career, Jamison Tyone has endured a torn ligament that's required Tommy John surgery, then more surgery for a hernia, but nothing prepares you for cancer. One of our doctors pulled me into a conference room and I felt like I was in a movie or something. I felt like I was having an out-of-body experience. My heart was racing, but something I, I got over pretty quickly and uh, my, my immediate thought was what next, what can I do to get better? Fortunately for Tyone, he got quick quality treatment from team doctors. They got the cancer out. It's a key to survival. Feeling good now, feeling healthy. We're getting all good news back so far. Uh, going forward, it'll be something I'll have to monitor and stay on top of, uh, something I'll carry with me uh, the rest of my life, and it's a part of my identity now. Tyone eloquently tweeted about the sensitivity of this disease for men, saying, quote, Today I lost a piece of my manhood, but today I'm feeling like more of a man than I ever have. He told us men need to step up and deal with sensitive health issues. It can save their lives. It's like I said, it's a private area. It's something that guys don't really like to talk about. You know, I lost maybe what one people would call one half of my manhood, but I, I mean, I feel feel great. Um, you know, that can't take away your dignity or pride. And Tyone says he's moved by the great outpouring of support from fans players and the Pirates organization. Yeah, and some of that support are these purple wristbands his team members are wearing right now. Now, testicular cancer isn't real common, but about 4,000 men a year die from it. it. Death is highly preventable if you catch it in time, but men have to get check, checked up, go to the doctor and take care of it. Coming up new at 6, we'll tell you what Tyone plans to do to get guys to take better care of themselves. Reporting live outside PNC Park, Paul Martino, KDKA TV News.